Hello everybody, Necrox is here. I know I haven't had a vlog in a long time, but, you know, I figured I'd make one. This really isn't too important news, but it's something that is just uh, getting me all hyped. Um, so, if you guys don't know, there's, an, there's a magazine called Empire. Um, I don't know if they're called Empire or Empire Magazine, but they often get a lot of exclusive movies or upcoming movie like screenshots and pictures um, and interviews and stuff. Um, there just was one with Suicide Squad with the Joker and Harley Quinn and Deadshot and uh, Enchantress, which was really cool. And I, if you're into that, go look that up because it was awesome. Um, but we just found some pictures leaked from that magazine article, which haven't hasn't come out yet. Hasn't come out yet. Uh, three pictures. There's probably more in the actual article, but we have three pictures from the new Warcraft movie that I think you guys should see because, woo, they are cool. I am so excited for this movie. Um, so, let's see. First one, I'm going to start with, uh, True, True to My Heart, The Alliance. This one is a little blurrier, um, but it is Anduin Lothar, played by Travis Fimmel. He's clearly running from something. He, it kind of looks like he's in this weird, like, almost wintry area. There's a, there's a part in some of the, uh, footage that, the very brief footage that people managed to capture and, and get out from, um the last Comic-Con where it showed Lothar in like this weird, like, like almost like wintry looking place fighting against what presumably is an orc shaman or something like that. Um, it had the, like the exact same background. So I'm assuming this is part of that moment in the film. He looks great. Um, his armor, you know, this might be the first time. I, I remember when we first saw pictures of him and people were complaining that his armor looked too, uh, cardboard ish and like fake, I can kind of see where they're coming from with this picture from this angle. Then again, that could just be this angle, but I'm still in the camp that his armor looks fine. Um, I think what what kept me on the board of the armor looks fine is the right shoulder pad. Because the rest of his armor is really flat against his body. Um, but the right shoulder pad kind of, well, for, i got to do inverse. It kind of like pops up a little bit right here. Um, and that's what more armor actually looked like and, and, and was. Um you know, not it's it's even a little exaggerated in this picture, but you you get what I mean. So I think that actually looks really cool. Um, uh, there's not much to say about this specific picture, but it just it looks awesome, and I am super pumped for it. So let's move on to the next one. What do we have here? All right, let, let's go on to Doomhammer. Here is this awesome picture of Doomhammer looking um, down at the ground, and the camera's looking up at him, and he just looks ugh, so good. He looks fantastic. Um, the Doom Hammer looks really great. Um, I don't think the Frostwolf symbol actually is on there right now. No, it's not because I remember I could have sworn I saw a screenshot or someone reported to me that uh, in the first movie the Frostwolf uh, insignia was already on Doom Hammer, which wouldn't make any sense. Um, so in this picture, it doesn't see, it doesn't look like it is. So that's good. Uh, but he looks great as always. You know the belt um, looks fantastic. Of course, you know it's the very famous. I don't remember if the belt has a name or not, but it's the belt that Thrall still is wearing. Um, let me actually go look. I'm having a... Guys, it's been a while since I've had to do a lot of uh, Warcraft lore, so I'm getting a little bit rusty. I'm sure my friends who know like literally everything still remember it. But the Doomhammer plate, I think it's, it's just was included in the part of the plate, wasn't it? Yeah, that, yeah, it was. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that looks cool. Um, you know, he just looks fantastic all around. Um, the CGI looks absolutely amazing. <laughs> so, you know, there you go. And finally, we move on to what I think is the most impressive screenshot, which is a close-up of Duratan's face. And you guys, when I first saw this, I thought to myself, orcs are real. Like, are orcs real? <laughs> orcs are real things in the world. This is not CGI. Someone just went out into the world and found an orc, and this is what it looked like. The CGI on Duratan's face is so fucking ridiculous. It's such ridiculous quality that it's it's mind-blowing to me that we have the technology to make this fantasy creature look like a real thing. Like, the wrinkles on his forehead, you know, the, the wrinkles around his eyes, his irises, his pupils. Everything is ridiculously awesome looking. It's I'm so excited for it. You can see the strands of hair on his head, on his beard, on his hair. Uh, the crack, the tiny little cracks in his one tusk. What the fuck? <laughs> this is ridiculous. I, I'm really. I I think I said this like six videos ago before when I was talking about Warcraft with the movie. But 
You guys, I tried really hard not to get hyped for the movie, but it, I failed. Like, I failed. Fucking all aboard the hype train for the Warcraft movie. And I'm telling you guys, if this movie is bad, it might just break my little black heart, what I have left of it. It might just shatter it into a million pieces. If you played Undertale, the, the, when you die and your soul gets shattered, and that, that, that'll be me, that'll be my heart and my soul if this movie is not, is not good. I just, all the pieces seem to be in place. The graphics look fucking amazing. They have awesome actors. Duncan Jones is an amazing director. Um, he hasn't done a lot, but what he has done, I really like. Moon and Source Code are fucking awesome movies. Blizzard's directly involved. You know, people on the cast are fans of the franchise. Duncan Jones has like a personal direct line to Chris Metzen and people at Blizzard. All of the pieces are in place. I will be so sad and so pissed off if they mess this up. But I just wanted to get this video out. It's late at night on October 30th, but I saw these screenshots. I tweeted them out. If so, if you follow me on Twitter, you saw this already. But, um, and if you want to, my Twitter link's in the description. But it's great. It's great. I can't say anything bad about it. I am so hyped. I'm so hyped. Choo-choo, all aboard the fucking hype train.